okay? I'm fine. Everybody, take a break. You're improving. Thanks, coach. Hey, you're good. I got a letter here for you two. Oh, that's great. Your one-way pass has been approved. You can leave any time. Congratulations. Ho and I have been waiting for this for a long time. Hey, say something, bro. Uh, yeah. Thanks, coach. Don't thank me. Just remember what I said. I know. Think twice before we act. And keep your mouth shut. I know. I've got a big... mouth. <laughs> Please grant my brother and I a safe journey to Hong Kong, and my brother a pretty wife. He likes Cherry Chung and Mandy Chung. Also grant him many children. And now, it's my turn. Haven't you said enough? We better go. They're waiting. Hey, wait for me. Come on. Wait a minute, bro. I've got a question for you. Brother? What is it? Does uncle have air conditioning? I wonder how big his house is. Do you think he has a TV? What about a video? Or a refrigerator? What about a laser? Or a karaoke? Hey, bro, aren't you listening? Hey, hey, hey. Congratulations! Yeah, everybody's Look, here. here. Hey. hey. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's kind of it. Let's go. Oh, thanks. Wow. Great oh, hey, good luck hey, to you. Thanks, you very much. Thanks, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, huh? Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, right they write to us. Yeah. Sure. They write to us. See you later. And don't come back with a clap, you hear? <laughs> thanks. Bye. Don't forget us. Bye. 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 Good trip. Bye. Bye. Sang, this way. Hi! Hi! You must be my cousin! Who are you? I'm So's daughter. So? So. Ah! You must be Penny! That's right. Welcome to Hong Kong. Where's Uncle? He's busy. He told me to pick you up. Ah, oh, I see. Are you ready? Shall we go? Huh. Watch out for cars. Watch out for me. Ah, uh, listen. My car's parked over there. Wait, brother. Can't you smell the air of freedom in Hong Kong? <sighs> no. I can't smell it. I've lived here all my life. I don't smell anything special, except for the pollution. Perfume. I don't use perfume. You should get your nose checked. Do you have a cold? Follow me. My car is just over there. <laughs> oh! Whoa. Bitch, get out of the way! Hey, hey watch hey, your hey, mouth, hey, buddy! Let go. Damn you! Hey, you're good, Penny. 
Look, you mustn't tell my father I've been fighting. Of course not. Let's go! <laughs> CID, hold it! Free! Get on the ground! Hold it! Get out! Get out! All right, cuff him. Yes, sir. It's got nothing to do with us, officer. Those guys started it. Hey, don't worry. Thank you very much, miss. Uh, not at all. It's our pleasure to help, officer. Besides, it's our duty as citizens. Have you finished? Let's go. Sure. Let us know right. if we can help. Right. <laughs> Bye. Come on, wow, those what officers happened? seem really nice. Wow, is this your garden? <laughs> Bring in your bags. Saying this one's heavy, I'll take it. Okay. Hurry up. Come in. This is where I live. <laughs> Do you like it? Wow, your house is full of antiques. I did the decoration. Like it? <laughs> I feel a bit like a cadre. It's great. Huh? Isn't this a big turtle? <laughs> That's not a turtle. It's a tortoise. Your room's upstairs. Follow me. Hmm? Come on. Just up there. Okay. Hmm. Wow, look at the high ceilings. Sure. Hong Kong always goes one step higher in everything, right? May I have your attention, please? Please come upstairs. I'd like to show you your room, okay? Sure, thanks. Hey, she's got good manners, too. Please? Thanks. Look, the two of you can stay in this room. Oh. Mm -hmm. There, that one's Seng's bed, and this one is Ho's. If you don't like them, swap. Seng, hmm? which bed do you want? I'll take the one she says. I used to sleep in that bed. I hope you don't mind sleeping on an old bed. Not at all. <sighs> hey, hey, I hope you don't sleepwalk and come back here at night. Oh well, I guess I uh, better swap. <laughs> <laughs> People say spring mattresses are so comfortable. Now I know they're right. <sighs> Penny, you're so lucky. We only have wooden boards to sleep on in Guangzhou. <laughs> Penny. Mm -hmm. A present for you. It's not very much. Oh, thanks a lot. Don't mention it. It doesn't talk. Penny, when are we going to get to see Uncle? First put your things away, then we'll go to see him in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. What? Do you really wear this? Yeah, what's wrong with them? I just bought this suit. I'm sorry. Thank you for the doll. I have something for you, too. Yeah? What is it? Just follow me. Not again. Come on. at the train station. How come you failed? It's not us. It was a damn woman. She got in the way. You screwed up and that's that. How are we to survive with idiots like you? Hong Kong's an important market for us. Fix him. Right. No! No, no, please! No, no! Give me a break, please! Check no. this woman out. No! No, no, please! No! 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 please! Please give me a break! Ah! 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 
Hey, this salon's like a restaurant. Never mind that. I'm sure Uncle's waiting for us. This way. Come on. Look, this is our restaurant. Do you like it? Look, the ship's on land. Yeah, right. That's not a real ship. It's a department store. Come on, let's go in. Come on. Come in. Oh, it smells great. <laughs> hey, let's eat something. Wait, we better see Uncle first. Sit down, order something to eat. Ah, right, come on. Didn't you eat something this morning? I did. Yeah, he ate mine too. I'm hungry now. Look what it says here. Father. Huh? I brought the two cousins here. Well, it's about time. Did you go to Guangzhou? They're just over there. Come on. Huh. How about a grilled steak, pork chop, a grouper, and an Italian soup? One's enough. Are you serious? How can you eat so much? Sure, comrade, can I have a steak, uh, a pork uh, chop, and a... Uh, shut and, uh, up, hey, shut up. Hey, Uncle! Yee-ho, Sang! Yeah. Ah, it's been years. You're big boys now, aren't you? <laughs> hey, those are real sharp clothes. You look like you're from Hong Kong. Penny, did you dress them? I thought you might be impressed. Hey, go and get some food for them. Sure. Hey, okay. you guys Uncle, gotta eat. How have you been? Ah, uh, I'm fit and healthy. You gotta be to run a business in Hong Kong. Oh. You're right, but it's polite to ask how you are. Usually when we write a letter, we start with uncle. How are you? How have you been? How's hey, your hey, hey, listen, I know you're concerned about me. <laughs> <laughs> uncle, Seng and I, we can help you out. Uh, it's not necessary. That's not the reason I brought you to Hong Kong, you know. Ah, I see. Uncle's a kind man. All the more reason why we should work for him. You could talk. You haven't changed. Yeah, you can talk <laughs> a bird down Hurry from a tree. Up. From now on, you should work hard. Food's here. What are you talking about? About you. Father! Now, Penny, you take him around Hong Kong. Show him a good time. Don't worry. I know what to do. I'm going to Singapore in a few days. I'd appreciate it if you could help Penny out here. You can ask her if you have any questions, okay? I know. You know what to do. You just told me. You should learn to keep quiet, you know? Now eat. Go on. Right. Don't let it get cold. <laughs> this is the best dish in our restaurant here. Uh -oh. You're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mm, it smells funny. I can't see. You first. Go on, eat up. Thanks. Sophie, all our guys were caught. Someone must have blown the whistle. What happened? It's that girl. What's going on? Useless. Brother. Can't he do anything right? <laughs> no, boss. <laughs> Oh, 
I know what to do. Granddad, yeah. you must tell the doctor everything, including your rheumatic pains. You must tell him. Yes, okay? don't worry, I will. <laughs> don't forget. Boss, here she is. The boss wants you. Come on, let's go. Well, what is this? Come on, You're come with us. us. So, no, no. You'll be all right, old timer. What do you want with me? Please, don't hurt him. Give me another chance. Oh, yeah? It's too late now. Goddamn bitch, my boss won't wait. No, what do you want? I'm sorry, Mr. Yoda. Sorry? You bitch. You went to the pigs. You're gonna pay for what you've done now. What would you like? What do you want? A soda. Orange. One orange juice and one soda. Sure. Here's to Ty. Cheers, Ty. Cheers. Cheers. Drink yeah. up. Come on. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Then finish the drink. I can't. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Hey. You can tell me. What's up? Tell me. I want to know. Stop it. I'm just not in the mood. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh. But this isn't your first time. Don't be silly. But I don't want to lose. I don't remember you losing. But this girl's really good, you know? Well, I don't know that girl. But I know hey, you. Oh, stop <laughs> Come on. it. I'm being serious. <laughs> Listen to me. Is she that good? Hmm. Then leave her to me. Hey, this is a huge place. Mm. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm gonna go say hi to a friend. Okay. Okay. Hi! Hi! You alone? No, I brought my cousins. Yeah? Let's sit down. You carry on. We'll go and talk. See ya. Bye! The discos here are more techno than China's. Mm -hmm. Allow me, Beezy Ho and that sing. My friend Mimi. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Conrad, Pretty good. How are you? Hey, she's one of us. Sing, what do you think of this place? Oh, it's very different. First of all, it's huge. And it's techno, too. I see. You often go to discos. No, I don't have any money. <laughs> Yeeho, you're making too much noise. Don't you like this place? Uh, no, I'm just not used to it. My brother's only interested in martial arts. So he must be real hard. <laughs> Don't say that. Hi. Hi. Sit down. So, I see you left me for a couple of guys. Just have a drink and shut up. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've never seen them before. Where'd they come from? Sure, these guys have just flown in. Oh, so they must be hey. real fresh. <laughs> Authentic products made in China. Ooh, since the Yellow Dragon. Indeed. That's enough, Mary. Let me introduce you. That's Yiho, and this is Sang. Oh, hi. 
Hi to both of you. How's it going? Hello. Hey, I saw Ben's men over there, you know? Go on, Go on. Go on. So what? I don't know. I just thought I'd tell you. <sighs> Never mind, Ben. Let's go and dance. Good idea. Yeah, Let's right. Dance. Let's go. Come on. Sure. Hey, aren't you coming? You go ahead. I'll watch. Never mind him. He's always like that. Oh. Uh, all right, you stay here. We won't be long. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Check those girls out. No, no problem. You smell great. What perfume are you using? Oh, what are you staring at, eh? You want trouble, huh? Bring it on. Come on, girls. Come on, let's go. Asshole, get it. Let's go get a drink. Dirty bastards. Hey, Sang, what was that about? Ah, uh, these guys walked right into me on the dance floor. I couldn't believe it. Here, um, who are they? Huh? Never mind. Just a bunch of Chinese peasants. Those guys are all local triads. Triads? Who are they? They're gangsters. They like to make trouble for no reason. But why us? I don't know. Could it be because of Mimi? But they bumped into me. It's got nothing to do with her. Maybe it's because Mimi's going to have a contest with Ben's girl. What? This is getting complicated. So you know what to do. Sure, just watch me. Come on. I think we better go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hey, what's that for, huh? What? You want trouble? What do you hey, want? Let's cool it. Huh? You just keep out of it. Hey, you bumped into us. Well, so what if I did? Look, you're pushing it. So what? What do you want? <laughs> so fast. It takes balls to beat up on my guys. They started it first. Huh. You gotta pay for the damage. How much is it? I don't know. Not yet. But I'll collect it one day. Anyway, I'm sure we'll meet again, right? We deal. Sit down. No, thanks. Can I check the goods? <sighs> All right. Ciao. Take care of it. Right. 
Let's go. Thanks, Eddie. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Right. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Better? You are good. Let's sit down. Hmm. Listen, the match is on tomorrow, but I'm not ready for it. I'm worried. Don't worry, you'll be fine. No, listen. I can't lose. What do you mean? We said to Ben at the disco that we pay for the damage. If I lose the match, I won't have any money to pay for it. But they started the fight, not us. They can't blame us. Ignore him. Penny! If we don't pay for the damage, Ben might slash my face open. Huh? Penny, what are we gonna do? Uh, well... What do you think? Uh, then you'll look prettier. <laughs> Come on! It's not funny. The roller skating contest is about to begin. The contestants are required to defeat their opponents within three minutes and then jump through three screens. The first one to take the trophy will be the winner and will get $50,000. How do you feel? You confident? We haven't started and Mimi's good. I'm not sure. He'll win for sure. We gave him a hard time at the disco. They won't dare come back. 
Yeah, we broke her arm. She won't show up. I don't want to lose, but you didn't have to go and break her arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the contest will commence. Will all contestants please get ready? Boss, it's about to start. Where's Mimi? See, I told you she wouldn't come. <laughs> Don't worry, the prize is yours. Oh, Who's that? that? Right. Go on. What is it? Boss, open up! Coming! <laughs> Boss, what is it? Uh, sorry to bother you. We lost the competition. How did you do that? The girl had a stand-in. And Fung's injured. If Fung's out, who's gonna supply the schoolgirls now, huh? Huh? Okay. Get me whoever's responsible for this. Go yes, on. Boss. Uh, excuse me. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Well, you're on better now? Sure, look, it's as good as new. That's strange. It's suddenly okay, right after the competition. What about you? Soon as your father's gone, you're a different girl. Sure, he's real tough on me, but right now I'm free. True. Hey, listen, why don't we go to the disco tonight with Sing and Ho? Good idea. How about we meet at 9 tonight at the same place? Okay, see you then. Good. <laughs> we can stay up all night. Sure. Bravo! Ah! Run! Hey, where do you think you're going? You really think you're something, don't you? What do you want?
Hey, what are you doing in my truck? Oh, hey, what's up? Where have you been running a marathon or something? All right, sit down. I just... Uh... Come on, sit down. So did you get mugged? Tell me, did you get mugged? Penny, no. what happened? Don't tell me you were raped. Come on, be serious. Oh, can't you take a joke? Shut up, Sang. Let Penny talk. Just now, I was out on the street with Mimi. Suddenly, Ben's men showed up, and they attacked us for no reason. I don't know why. So, sounds exciting. Are you listening at all? Yeah, carry on. Where was I? You were attacked. Yeah, so Mimi and I split up, and I ran all the way back here. So you separated? Uh-huh. Should we call the police? Police? No way, if Father finds out, he'll be mad. Really? Uh hmm Then I'll get back to work. Hey, Sang! <laughs> what? You're upset because you lost? <laughs> hey, don't be so fierce, okay? You got a replacement for the competition, and she injured my girl. Now she's in the hospital. You're lucky my boss likes you. He's offering you a chance to be my girl and work on our team from now on so that if you're smart, you'll do what you're told. That's right. You got that? Be good now. Go away. Hmm. Come on. Just deliveries. It's easy. Leave me alone! It's easy. It's no big deal. <laughs> You've no choice. Think about it. If you refuse, my guys won't be very happy. Let me go! Let me go! Let you go? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> ben, take care of her. Mm. <laughs> No! No! Hey. Oh. <laughs> Sit out here! Yeah. Hey! I'm not finished! going out. Are you going to see Mimi? Yes. Be careful. Ben's guys are capable of anything. I'll be careful. If you're worried, why don't you come with me? I'd like to. But I've got to close the shop and the account. I can't leave yet. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready yet? Sure, I'm waiting for you. Okay, let's go. Hang on. Be careful. Call me if anything happens, okay? You sound just like my old man, you know? I promised Uncle I'd look after you, so it's my duty. <sighs> I'm with her. She'll be fine. Let's go. Bye. Be careful.
boss. They just left the restaurant. Give them a surprise. Right. It was really scary this morning. Mm -hmm. Mimi and I were surrounded by Ben's guys. I ended up fighting in the back of a truck. Mm -hmm. oh, look at this, it's a crane. Oh. <sighs> hey, are you finished? Let's go. Hmm. Do you think Mimi will be there? Well, she didn't call me and there was no answer from her place. I just don't know. I do. You do? What do you know? If she's fine, she's fine. If she's not, she's not. <sighs> That's crap. But it's true. What's faster? You or this gun? No use playing tough. Take him away! So there. What time? What do you want? I don't know why you want to go up against this. Tell me. It's no use holding us. Oh, really? You think so? If it's no use, why do we do it? I'm a dealer, you understand? I guess you don't. I need kids like you on my team so I can sell it. Mimi refused to, so she had to go. Huh? Huh? Mr. Young. These are the guys who screwed us up at the train station. <laughs> oh. <gasps> You're troublemakers. What are you talking about? Remember the train station? My guys were grabbed by the pigs. Yeah, I remember that. 
Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Don't hurt him! Don't touch her! <laughs> what do you think? Don't touch no her! Way. Leave her alone! She's a little rich Just girl. So I'll be very careful with her. What do you want? That's just what I'd like to hear. Listen, at six in the morning, you take two vases to the St. Paul facade in Macau. Someone will contact you there. Once the job is done, the girl can go. If you fail, <laughs> then you'll never see her again. Faces. Yeah, I was told to deliver them. Well, you might I take a look? Go ahead. Hmm? Bastard, you trying to fool me? What? this. <laughs> you screwed up again. You set me up, bastard! Him off.
Go on, run. Listen, I'm gonna play a little game with you. If you don't want to die, then jump off. Go on. Go. <laughs> Jump! Leave him for now. Let's go. Yes? It's me. Zeng, where are you? Macau. Listen. Ben's guys have got Penny. He forced me to deliver the drugs to him in Macau. Then he set me up. Are you okay? I'll be there. Be careful. I'm here, let's go. What happened? I nearly didn't make it back. Where's Penny? I'll tell you on the way. Hey, there they are! Come on! Oh, come on. Get let's go, run! Get him! Yeah, what are you gonna do? <coughs> Enough! We've gotta find Penny. Come on! Talk! Where are you taking Penny? Talk! Oh, no! You better talk or you're gonna die. Even if I tell you, there's nothing you can do. That's our problem. Hey! Talk, you bastard! She's at the fish farm. Brother, let's go find her. You stay. I'll go myself. No way! Listen, you keep your eyes on him. We'll still need this guy. Is this place safe? It should be. It's the restaurant's dormitory. They've just attacked the restaurant. They won't come here. Mm. So you stay here. Where's the farm? Psychom. Check if she's okay. Get him! Penny, 
You okay? I'm okay! Get up! Come on! Ho, oh, you go! You want to help your girl? We'll do a swap for Ben. <sighs> Who is it? Oh. Where's Penny? I told you it's no use. <coughs> oh, shut up! Brother. What are we going to do? We'll swap her for him. This is it. No tricks. Get out. Out! Come on. There's nobody. Where is she? I don't know. If you don't, then who does? I do. He doesn't know, but I do. Hey, where's Penny? Let her go! If I wanted to let her go, I wouldn't have locked her up, idiot. What do you want? I want some money for the girl. So what do you say? What about him? Do you think you can decide the terms just with that blade? I let you go in Macau. The reason I told you to bring Ben here huh, was to get you both, dumbass. <laughs> Get out! Let him go. Sing! Come on! Stop! Your brother's not going anywhere! Sing! Hang in there! Come on! Sing! Hang in there! Come on, promise me you're not gonna leave me now! I won't leave. That's right, and we'll dance together! You'll go. I'll cover you. Ah! 
Oh god, Fang! You Fang! Go, brother. I gotta get you out of here! You go! go. Fang! Fang! Open the door! Open the door, Fang! Hey, come on, it's me, your uncle. Now calm down. Calm down. Come on. Uncle, I'm sorry. I'm useless. I failed to keep my promise to you. They've got Penny, uncle. And saying has been... Yeho, don't blame yourself. I know everything. They called me. They want money. Get up! Pull yourself together. We'll give them the money. Come on! What happened? We killed one of the brothers, and they've agreed to pay for the girl. All of them must die. I know what must be done. Hmm. scare you? What's this? A race? You were too quick. I didn't see that. Run it past me one more time. You bastard! Where is she? Where's the money? Here. Give it to me. Come on. I want to see her. There may be no money inside. It's money for the dead. Oh, then burn it. Wait. I left my blade at home this time. I see you got a big one there. I'm over here! <laughs> Cover me! Ah! <laughs> 
get up! Take one on the other cheek. Come on, come on. Or I'll blow your head off. I don't think so. <sighs> Finish with you.
Uncle. Iho, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's my lifesaver. Well, you're my lifesaver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had the pleasure of interviewing the world's number one female action film star, Cynthia Rothrock. Let's go to that interview. Welcome to the martial art world. I'm George Strickland, and I have the pleasure today of speaking to international film star and champion martial artist, Cynthia Rothrock. How are you today? It's a oh, pleasure. Oh, fine. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. We're here at the Arnold Martial Arts Festival. We've been watching some of the competitors today. How do you view what you see? Oh, I think it's wonderful. I mean, this is the first time I've been to an event in America that attracts so many people into fitness and martial arts. And the competition is just so grand. It's so professional. And I just, I just love it. It's such a good feeling to be here with people all having the same goal and, you know, everything. It's great. Yeah, the beautiful part is you can see how martial arts are beginning to blossom. We finally have these huge crowds, the media interests, and this is a time where your career is blossoming. So how do you how do you see martial arts now being injected into the public's view? Well, I think uh, this is a big help for martial arts, especially with Arnold Schwarzenegger getting behind it, because uh, he has such a big following. And I think if, if he brings this attention to the people, get more people interested in studying martial arts. And I really, really do believe that every man, woman, and child should learn some sort of self-defense, not only because it gets you in great shape, but because it could prove lifeless. You, could, you know, you can protect yourself or protect someone's life someday. That's very true. Uh, tell us about your beginning. In martial arts. Well, I started when I was 13, and I think the reason I started martial arts is I was very athletic. I did uh, dance, I did music lessons, I, I did everything, and my girlfriend's parents were studying karate, and I saw their belt, and I said, I'd like to try that. So I tried it, and funny enough, at first I was discouraged. Uh, at that time, I was the only girl in the class, and I found it very hard to punch and kick and shout. But I didn't let it get to me. I thought, well, maybe if I practice, I'll get good at this. I started practicing, and I started getting good. And then it just became my life uh, from being a professional competitor. I did it. I used to teach martial arts for a living. And then I got into the movies. So it's something that I feel I will be doing all my life. Well, you didn't just get good. You got great. That, that's propelled you to new heights. Now, as a martial artist looking at just film in general, and how they view us. What do you see changing? In the film? In the film industry. I think uh, it's, it's getting a lot more popular. From before, I was really popular foreign, and you had a circle. It would go up and down, up and down. But now it's on the uprise again. I think a lot of people are seeing martial arts for what it's really like. You know, it's not a violent sport. You know, it's, it's a good sport. And I think with um, Jackie Chan, his movie's getting theatrical release, and you see a lot of martial arts incorporated into uh, big movies. You see Nicolas Cage doing martial arts. And I think it is bringing in a wide range of people, you know, uh, to get familiar what martial arts is really about. What do you see the future bringing? 
I see a, a lot more people getting involved in martial arts, studying them. And whether, you know, it's through a traditional school, you see a lot of women doing uh, the karate aerobics, you know, it, it all ties into one place. So I think, in general, I think the whole world is getting more fitness conscious. Right. And I think this will bring people into it too. That's great. Do you have any tips for any of our beginning martial artists? Uh, maybe just an approach, an attitude that they should have while they're initiating their learning. Well, I think when you're, you're first doing martial arts, uh, you should not give up. Uh, that was one of the goals I had. You know, you will succeed. And don't get discouraged. And just keep practicing and you'll always get better and better. And um, I think you just keep a positive attitude, you know, and you'll learn. And everybody has to progress at their own pace. Like, you can't look at someone and say, geez, I'm never going to be able to kick like that person. Well, that's not what it's all about. It's about defending yourself and health. And anybody can do it uh, at any age. Um, you've heard it from a champion. We want to thank you for stopping by and oh. talking with us. It's a pleasure. Anything new? Uh, what's the newest movie that's coming out? Uh, my next movie coming out is called Sworn to Justice, which will be released in the fall. And I'm about to start a project in May called uh, To Protect and Serve. All right, I like that. Well, be watching out there, martial artists, and we'll be right back.